I'm I'm Michael. I'm Michael. I'm I'm addicted to American Christianity. Um, I I don't feel God in worship anymore. I I whenever I'm in there, I just there, there's so many people. It, it, Jordan's a nice guy and everything, but I don't I don't feel the spirit when he leads. And the bass and the kick are always off. It's such a distraction. I just can't. I can't worship anymore. I, I don't even. I don't even get the chills. Um. Hi guys. I'm Pam. Hi Pam. Um. And and I'm addicted to American Christianity. Um. Like. How. How dare people just think they can just talk in church when I'm having communion? That's my time with God. And when people are just sitting next to me praying together, like I'm trying to focus with God. And I just, it really, really distracts me. When I'm at East Campus and I'm trying to read my Bible and people are watching Doctor Who, I just, can't focus, and that is my personal time. I just, I can't believe how inconsiderate people can be. I just can't. Hi, my name is Tommy. Hi, I'm Tommy. I'm addicted to American Christianity. I just don't understand why I need to go to church on Sundays. I have church at home, me and God, by ourselves. I could go outside right now and have church. Why do I have to have it on Sunday? You know what? On Sundays, that's the time when I get to sleep in, wake up, and rest the whole day. I don't need church. I don't need community. I have God, and that's all I need. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm Smitty. I've got a pretty serious problem. I, uh, I want to be just like Josh Quaddy. Isn't this Douchebags Anonymous? I'm in the wrong room, sorry. Well, hi. My name is Dick. Hi, Dick. Dick. I'm addicted to American Christianity. I mean, I know God's got a plan for me. I mean, all things work together for those who love the Lord, right? For the good. But I just, I wish I knew what God's got in store for me right now. I mean, I wish He'd let me know what my what my job's gonna be, what my career is, so I can use my money to bless people later. I mean, I know I'm one of the elect. I know he's got good things in store for me. I mean, who's that, who's my wife gonna be? I mean, I got someone in, wa in mind, but I just wish he'd let me know so I could stop wasting my time and get on with it. I mean, I know, I know he's got a great, a great woman out there for me. And he's been, been just preparing her for me ever since she was born. I know he is. I know she's out there. I know she's gonna be dying. I just, I just wish he'd let me in on what he's doing. 